Now, today's top stories in Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Okay, let's take a look at today's top stories. It has now been 11 weeks since the first coronavirus cases were confirmed in Ohio. Since then, COVID-19 has killed 2,002 of us and sickened more than 33,000. Governor Mike DeWine announced today testing will begin in every nursing home in the state. The National Guard being tapped to help out as part of the new Congregate Care Unified Response Team. Testing will begin at the nursing homes where we know there have been cases. It will start with those who work there. Can't get into the nursing home unless someone brings it in. The logical place where it comes in is staff because we try to seal off basically every, everything else. And so testing staff makes sense from, from that point of view. If it's found there's a chance that residents of the nursing home were infected, they could be tested as well. All staff and residents at Ohio's eight developmental centers, they will also be tested. More Ohio businesses are suing state health director Dr. Amy Acton and the Lake County Health District over the state health order. A group of bar owners and vending companies claim the ban on pool, video games and the like at bars and restaurants is unconstitutional. The other big story today, all that heat outside. Let's talk weather. Here's Mark. Sir, the heat and humidity continue for at least another day and a half. So overnight lows in the 60s, clear then cloudy after midnight. Tomorrow, clouds, a little bit of sunshine. Storms will be well to our south. You're still muggy, but clouds will cut you down a little bit temperature-wise. 86 degrees for the high. 86 looks good. Plenty of dry hours to get outside and play. Stay hydrated. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.